Humanity revealed a picture of something so huge and amazing, even Einstein had not dared dream it existed. We have seen what we thought was unseeable. And in the process, one member of the telescope team became an instant icon. Even though we had predicted that if you had a black hole that you would see this ring of light, we didn't know we were going to get that ring of light. And then the internet ruined it. Within hours, there were debates on Reddit questioning her credibility, phony Instagram profiles and fake Twitter accounts, one soliciting online donations. Many of the accounts are now suspended. And top YouTube results for the name Katie Bowman included a video arguing that she'd done far less work than men on her team. It was the internet at its worst. Andrew Chael, the colleague getting much of the credit in the viral posts targeting Bowman, quickly came to her defense in a now viral tweet of his own, writing, While I appreciate the congratulations on a result that I worked hard on for years, if you're congratulating me because you have a sexist vendetta against Katie, please go away and reconsider your priorities in life. If people with a louder megaphone who know how to corrupt the internet do a better job of, of explaining history without facts, they will win the rhetorical war here. Social media algorithms promote sensationalism over verified content. For female scientists, the internet, like the workplace, can be a nightmare. Women continue to suffer discrimination. This is uh, even more so when you are a woman working in a male-dominated field. Humans can turn our planet into a giant telescope and photograph a one-way portal to eternity that's larger than our entire solar system. But we can't protect each other from the web.